Okay, so this is like item number 527 on the list of things I never thought I would do before COVID-19. This is a video demonstration for my liturgical practicum class, again at St. Bernard's, for a review of how you properly iron and fold liturgical linens, the corporal, the purificator, and the finger towel. So we're going to start with the corporal, and you know it's a corporal because... It is a square cloth, about 18 by 18, give or take an inch or two. Also, ideally, there's going to be on the, the, the top part of the cloth, you're going to have stitched in a little cross on the bottom center section, um, the bottom center portion of the cloth. Sometimes I'll see companies, they'll put the cross right in the center of the corporal, fine. I've seen some corporals without any cross on it at all, and you just know it's a corporal because it's square and about 18 by 18. But ideally that cross is right there in the bottom center portion. Start with it as it's going to lay on the altar, namely with the cross facing up and the hem of the cloth um, facing down. That should be down, cross up. Start with the flat. And essentially all you're going to do is you're going to fold it in thirds, constantly in thirds. So start with the bottom third folded up a third. Now, before I actually make that first fold, though, just be aware. Um, a lot of times, the, the best way, I think, of doing corporals is using spray starch or some kind of starch to make sure that all of these folds that we end up doing end up very, very crisp because this is a cloth that's going to be folded and unfolded and folded and unfolded, and you want those folds that you make, each of these these ironing lines, so to speak, to, to remain very crisp. And so you can use a lot of spray starch on it. I'm not going to use a lot in this demonstration, but just realize that you can use a lot. So anyway, that first fold, the bottom third section of it, fold it up a third, right about there, and iron it down. Okay. Next, take the top third, and fold it down a third, and ideally this top um, portion of the of the cloth, right? This top edge is going to come flush with that fold that you just made. And so fold iron that down. Okay, with this section that remains, you're again going to fold it in thirds, starting with this right third here. Fold it over a third of the way. Right about there, and iron that down. And then finally the left third, fold it in a third of the way, and again, this edge here, this side edge, should come about flush with the other fold that you just made, and iron that down. And so you end up with the corporal folded into a square, and this is face up. Face up, meaning you can reach down and grab the edge here and begin to unfold it. That's how you know it's face up. So that is the corporal complete. And again, it can be very, um, very, very crisp if you use a lot of spray starch. For the other two, we don't use starch. Let's do the purificator. The purificator is a rectangular cloth. And you know it's the purificator because it should have a cross stitch right there in the center of the cloth. All right, start this one uh, the, in a sense the opposite way that we started before. The cross is this time going to be face down, and the hem, the edge, the hem edge there is going to be facing up. And you're again you're going to start with the, the kind of the thirds that we were doing before, so one third up. Top third down. And then this time you just finish it by folding it in half and ironing it down. And so that if you've done it correctly, that cross should be facing out and should be right there on the edge of this purificator. And what you'll do is then it's just ready to sit right there on top of, on top of a chalice as you're building the chalice, as you're setting up the chalice for mass. Now there is a fancier way of folding this with a couple extra folds in there so it sits a little bit better into the cup of the chalice or on the top of the cup of the chalice. I won't show you that. Um, this is 
This is generally sufficient, but some parishes use that even a little bit fancier folding method. So you can look that up, I don't know, maybe extra credit or something like that. Um, and then finally, the finger towel. The finger towel is also a rectangular cloth. What distinguishes it from the purificator is obviously the way that it's folded and also ideally where the cross is stitched onto it. So on the bottom corner is where that cross should be stitched. Now, unfortunately, I find that a lot of companies are now putting this cross right there in the bottom center, and that's unfortunate because then you can't actually fold the purificator properly in the traditional way. And so I, I like it when it's down there in that bottom corner. You can fold it in the, the classic way. And um, so make your own then. Find, get, a, get a rectangular piece of cloth and have somebody in your parish just you know, embroider a little cross on the bottom. That's actually what somebody did for me here. So start... And again, we're going to start this time face up. So the cross is facing up and the hem of the, of the linen is now facing down. And this time, a little different than we were doing before, we're going to fold it completely in half. So bring that bottom section up in half and iron it down. Again, no, no starch, no spray starch. Then you're going to fold this down in half again, just this one side of it, this one flap of it, down in half and bring it flush with that fold down there. Then here's the tricky section. Take this whole thing, keep this fold together and flip it over. And then you're gonna mirror what you did on the other side. Take this from the top, fold it down to that edge and iron it down. Then finally to finish it, fold it in half. And if you've done it correctly, you'll have that cross facing out, still in the corner, but here it is now at the, the top of the cloth, and it should be folded in this sort of accordion-like fashion here. And so it's, it's a finger towel. So it's held out for the priest at the lavabo. He can reach down, has a lot of surface area. He can wipe his fingers on it. It serves its purpose as a finger towel. So those are the three cloths, the corporal, the purificator, and the finger towel. They're all folded in their own ways. But if you know the traditional method, you can replicate it. You can teach your altar and rosary societies or your, your altar guild, whoever does the linens in your parishes, when you get into your parishes. So let's, let's start a revolution of properly folded liturgical linens. Amen.